Man, what is going on? What the hell is going on in the 2019 NFL season? All right, man. I'm just leaving in and out. Just crawling through my usual pages on Google. I hop on NFL.com. And I see Andrew Luck retiring from the NFL. I mean, a picture of this man in sudden emotion, standing in front of the media, announcing his retirement. What? What? Like, out of the blue, this man has announced his retirement from football. It just amazes me that he didn't do this, you know, a year ago when, like, he basically lost his, I want to say, I don't know how many games he missed, but he definitely was basically lost for most of the season. Because I know he definitely went through a couple of uh, bad injuries, man. I don't know what to tell you, Colts fans. I mean, shit. And it's just funny because he had a damn good year last season. I mean, I don't think I don't think they made the playoffs. They were like this close to making to the playoffs. And it pisses me off even more because I was hyping up the Texans and the Colts. Oh no, the Colts did make the playoffs. They beat the Texans. And I was like, damn, Colts and Texans is gonna be a great rivalry in the AFC South for years to come with luck and Watson going at it each and every year. And out of nowhere, luck retires. This is the greatest disappointment for me heading into this NFL season other than the fact that I have to watch Barkley and Beckham play on opposite teams instead of being together. What? What? This this just makes the 2018 season even more bittersweet for me because it was basically one and done of fantastic like events and combination, man. A fantastic rivalry down the drain. Houston and Colts. I mean, what am I going to look forward to when I see the Texans and the Colts play now? Jacoby Brissett? Come on. I haven't been this shocked about a fucking NFL news since the day, the night I found out Odell Beckham got traded by that goofball. I mean, damn. I like Drew Bill Peppers, but <clears throat> it's going to take a worn sap of a career coming from Dexter Lawrence for me to really feel like that trade was satisfying. Damn. I still say he shouldn't have made that trade, especially if he was going to take Daniel Jones at six anyways. If he was going to take him over, you know, I don't even have to go through that shit again. I mean... Definitely a good 3-4 collection of stud defensive players. And you took Daniel Jones. I'm not mad about the pick. I'm just like, what was the point of trading Odell Beckham? That would have been that shiny new Corvette for your son to drive into. Now, he's got to drive. He's got to choose between, oh, I don't know, a Ford Explorer. A, uh, a fucking, um, you know, an old Dodge Charger. They're nice, but. Not like the ones they make right now. Uh, you know what I mean? It's just like a bunch of beater cars. Like a fucking 94, um, what what they call that fucking car that expired. They had like those Shelbys, those Sobs. Ah, forgetting another name. Anyways, you get my point. It's basically, now he's got maybe three or four shitty cars to choose to throw, you know, to drive in. And you traded away that nice Corvette. You finally found the right driver to go ahead and use that bad boy to its fullest, but decided to sell it away. That's like me having a Corvette. It had the leather seats were getting bad, right? I sell that shit away. Then out of nowhere, I get my I get me like a '96 Civic, and I'm like, mm, let me go ahead and upgrade these seats, even though they're fine, and fucking put in brand new seats. It's like, what the fuck? Or the other way around, it's like, 
you have like these nice new two new racing seats you bought. You're like, in case I get a nice car, right? You sell those seats and you get that nice car. But guess what? The seats are kind of a little bit messed up in there. You could have definitely fixed it up with those two racing seats, but you sell you sold it. I mean, look. This is disappointing. It really is, but this is definitely different from the Beckham trade, which I was really shocking, shocked and pissed about because that should have never happened. Ever. I mean, you talk about weirdness. This is weird, too, is because it's just out of the blue. Luck decides to retire after his team made a good fucking run in the playoffs last year. Who they lost to? I think the Chiefs? Yeah, they got blown out, but shit. Come on. Don't tell me that team could have have not gotten better and potentially compete with the Chiefs again this year. I mean, they have they not gotten better? I'd say it's the Chiefs and the Colts in the championship game if Luck is still on the roster playing. As, you know, I was expecting he was going to be until up to 50 minutes ago. Damn. Andrew Luck retired. How about that? Just at a very awkward time. And I mean, I get that why he did it. It's just the timing of when. It's That's just all it's been. It's been bad timing this year. Bad timing with Odell trade. I mean, after you sign him for you. Bad timing with taking Daniel Jones at a pick higher than when you could have gotten yourself. Josh Allen and traded up and got Daniel Jones. I would have been fine with that. Nah, you got to settle for a defensive tackle who I don't even think is going to stand up. You know, I don't think he's going to be shit. I'm going to be straight up. I think it was just a product of the Clemson football program. And he needs to prove it to me with the Warren Sapp kind of a career. He's got to be a Hall of Famer, the best defensive tackle in his prime for me to really justify him being worthy of Odell getting traded. I like your Bill Peppers. All right? Well, Shane Eximine, same shit to you. You third round pick. You was a product of that Odell Beckham trade. You better step it up. I swear to God. If there's anyone that's going to break Michael Strahan's record, it better be your behind. I'm telling you, nobody else. That's how I'm going to justify training Odell Beckham because he was Jerry Reese. Did I say Jerry Reese? Fuck me. <laughs> shit. Don't fuck me. Because I don't know who the fuck you is. Unless you a fine, beautiful woman. With nice tits and... Oh, I'm getting carried away. This is YouTube. Um, beautiful face. Let's put it that way. I want a beautiful woman with a beautiful face and a beautiful heart. Leave it at that. Um, but yeah. You definitely... Uh, gotta step it up, guys. Dexter Lawrence... Well, Shane Eximines, y'all better play lights out in your career because Odell Beckham was a Jerry Rice 2.0. I don't give a damn what anyone says. Odell Beckham, by the end of his career, when he hangs up his cleats, he will be better than Jerry Rice. Hands down. He may not have as much rings. I don't know. That's still debatable. But as far as career-wise, individually, he's going to be better than Jerry Rice. He's going to be Jerry Rice 2.0. Come at me. I don't give a damn. <laughs> but yeah um damn got nothing else to say man i'm already 90 minutes in deep other than uh colts fans good luck your boy drew blue signing out stay blessed y'all Ow!